So as the pandemic knocked out sports leagues around the country, around the world, one organization had stood strong. It's UFC. With major sporting events like the Olympics still trying to figure out how to put on their show, Dana White and the UFC never slowed down. It was the first major U.S. sports organization to return during COVID and also the first to do it with a full arena in Jacksonville. Last week, it had its biggest fight night of the year, UFC 264, setting attendance records while becoming one of the top selling pay-per-views of all time. It's time now to bring in the man that made it happen, or one of the many who led the charge, UFC President Dana White. Dana, why was it important for you to get back into action? It wasn't just money, right? No, no, not at all. I mean, it was important for me to figure out a way to go through the pandemic, and it was equally as important to me to, uh, to, to, to come back first and show everybody that that could be done, too. And what was the result? First, you communicated with the White House. You and President Trump got along great. So you could directly go to the man in charge and said, can I do this? Correct, yeah. But it wasn't, it wasn't, a, it wasn't a federal thing. It, it was harder to go state by state. You know, it, you know, it was all the state, different states, the no-brainers. Florida, Texas, Arizona, and then we finished off in Vegas. We sold out in Jacksonville, sold out in Houston, sold out in Arizona, and then just had, you know, the second biggest event in UFC history in Vegas. Do you think you created a loyalty in fans that didn't even exist before because you're willing to literally fight for them to get back into action, to give us all a break from this global pandemic? Yeah, I, I think so. And we, we created more fans because we went through the pandemic. There was nothing else to watch. So if you hadn't seen the UFC before, you, uh, you got into it during the pandemic. You, uh, like nobody else, really represent your sport well. You're in the middle of it. You talk very honestly and candidly on the broadcast before and, and now. Do you worry when you look around this country and you bleed red, white, and blue, they were losing uh, the charge, the energy, the, the fight? to be successful no matter what we do? Are we losing that? Yeah, I think we are, uh, to be honest with you. Uh, it's, uh, I don't know, I've, I've never seen anything like it. It's, it's blowing my mind. But you know what, everybody that, that's, that's slowing down, everybody that is afraid or what, whatever their reason is for, for uh, you know, not wanting to get back to work, not wanting to, uh, you know, to run their business, not wanting to, to get back to, to normal and full capacity. I'll run you all over. <laughs> I'll run you over. Right. And that no should be the attitude of the 22 year old to the 32 year old. If people are going to sit on the sideline, that's an opportunity. No one ever gave you anything. Absolutely right. There's never been more opportunity out there than there is right now. You know, I keep hearing about restaurants that can't open all the way because they can't get people to come into work. You know, you can't get an Uber because nobody wants to go back and drive Uber. It's just, it's a, it's a very weird time in this country right now. And uh, yeah, it, people need to get back to work and things need to get back to normal as soon as possible. You got the celebrity row now when it comes to UFC fights. I, I did the first four in the beginning at Denver and Colorado. It was almost felt like an underground situation. People like John McCain wanted to stop it. He later came around on it. And one of those celebrities that came to your last big event was President Trump. How was he received? Oh, very well. He was received very well. He, he, he was in New York, too, when he came to the fight in New York. Um, you know, he, at, at the end of the day, he's a fight fan. He showed up to the fights, he sat there, he watches all the fights, and he stayed till it was over. And, uh, you know, I've had a 20-year relationship with the guy, and he's always been amazing to me. Conor McGregor, uh, obviously, uh, broken bone, a broken leg. He's going to take six months off. You said in the pre-fight hype, he actually kicked you in the ribs? <laughs> he kneed me in the ribs at the, uh, at the uh, press conference, yeah. Is he Accidentally. The, is he the biggest draw, and do you think he'll be coming back? Yeah, he, he's, he's the biggest draw ever. Not, not just at this sport. He's one of the biggest draws ever in combat sports, period. Um, you know, he's going to be off for nine months, uh, so I, I expect him to be back in, in, in roughly a year, and, yes, he will be back. Uh, 
Dan, check out Dana White's Ultimate Fighter on ESPN+. Plus. They got big fights over the weekend also on ESPN. Dana, thanks so much for doing it. America really needed a break. You provided it. Now you got fans, and now your league is thriving. Thanks so much, Dana. Hi, everyone. I'm Brian Kilmeade. I want you to do me a favor. I want you to click to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page. This is the only way that I know for sure that you're not going to miss any great commentary, any great news bites, any great interviews coming your way on Fox. You can get it all here on YouTube. So subscribe right now.